Alright guys, we are going to be doing a video today where we take, you know, silver players or bronze players uh, out of my Discord and we are going to be placing them in higher elo games to see if they actually deserve the rank that they think they deserve. You know how bronze players always say like, oh I deserve gold or I deserve challenger, right? Today we're actually going to see if, you know, bronze players or silver players actually deserve that the, the ranks that they want by placing them in a higher elo game and seeing if they play well. Uh, so let's just say like a bronze player says he deserves platinum, then we'll place the bronze player in platinum and see how well he does in that game. Alright, so I'm just gonna grab someone off my Discord. I got a couple of people waiting. I got like 20 people waiting. Uh, we got Maynith, we got Icy, we got Cookie. Uh, I'm gonna grab here, we got Kegel. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab Kegel here. Yeah, Kegel. Uh, yo, Kegel, what's up? Yo, what's up? Uh, I got a couple of questions for you, man. Uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, what rank are you currently? Currently, I am a uh, bronze one. Bronze one. And what rank do you think you deserve? I f deserve. I feel like if I like really started trying, I feel like I could get like plat one diamond five somewhere in that area. You think you can get diamond? Yeah, I, f I feel like I could get diamond. Is there like any reason? That you think uh. I like to think I have pretty good game knowledge, map awareness, uh, pretty decent at the champions I mean. Uh, what champions do you main? Uh, I hardcore main Riven. Ooh, Riven main, are, are you are you like toxic or something? <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not toxic, I, but I do have, uh, I'm gonna sound toxic when I say I have 1.4 million mastery points on Riven. Holy mastery points. <laughs> that's uh, that's yeah. quite a bit, wait, do you seriously have 1.4 million? Yeah, as a collective, yeah. Holy. Okay. Alright, so you think you deserve diamond. Alright, I'm going to give you a diamond account. Alright, I'm going to DM you a diamond account. You're going to log on to diamond right. account, and you're going to play a solo queue game, alright? We're going to see if you deserve diamond. I'm like ranked? Yeah, I'm recording this, by the way. Yeah, we're going to spectate, and we're going to see if you actually deserve the rank that you think. Alright. Yeah. That sounds like fun. <laughs> alright, I'm going to DM you, and we're going to get started. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, we are in game here with the bronze player playing as Riven in the top lane against a Fiora. Now fun fact guys, this Fiora is actually challenger right now on an A and this Orianna on the Riven's team is also challenger. Uh, so each team has one challenger. Also, this Caitlyn is diamond one right now, almost masters. If she wins this game, she's going to get into masters promos. And uh, this gen is Diamond 2. Looks like Caitlyn is going to go down for his blood. We're going to see if Riven can possibly beat the challenger in this lane. Uh, beat the Fiora. Fiora is pretty strong, but you know, have faith in my bronze bro. Uh, we're going to see if Kegel can do this. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if anything happens here. Oh, looks like Riven is going to engage uh, Fiora with the parry. Whoa, going to be forced to flash away there. Fiora following up with the Q. And she might be going for a dive here. Riven gonna stun up, knock him up, and the Riven kills the Fiora. Holy, alright, Jin leaving that game. Uh, did not expect that. Challenger Fiora down. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty brutal. Uh, once Riven does get ahead, it is pretty uh, crazy how, you know, snowball y she is. Uh, looks like Skrner is gonna come in here for a gank. Uh, not gonna be a success, maybe? Um,. Yeah, okay, so Riven's gonna back off here. Maybe it might go, yep, Riven's gonna go back in. She does have R. She's not gonna be able to get any of the Qs off, though. Feels bad, man. Uh, Skrender gonna go back in. Ooh, Riven might go and turn on that. Riven, so far, 2 and 0. Oh. Holy. Alright, the bronze player showing his skill here. As a Riven, he does have 1.4 million mastery points. Sorry, guys, my, by the way, oh, wait, hold on. Fiora might be able to kill the Riven here if she knows which bush. Oh, she's gonna ward that. And it looks like Riven might die here. Riven is in a very, very tight situation. Oh. And the Riven is gonna go down to the Fiora. Rest in peace, Riven. Uh, by the way, guys, I really have to apologize. My voice, like, I have a really stuffy nose right now. Uh, my nose just gets, like, randomly stuffy, especially when I just wake up. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. Uh, hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. Uh, I just want to apologize, you know, uh, but yeah, hopefully it gets better and uh, yeah 
Oh, it looks like the Riven is going to be able to get away here. No, she's probably going to die here. Fiora has a lot of mobility, <laughs> which is pretty insane. Uh, this account is at Diamond 5, but, you know, has really high MMR. So, you know, he's going to be facing quite a bit of high elo players. Uh, so, Riven going to oh, pop that Wind Slash. Going to get a nice Q off. Going to get a clean kill on the Fiora there. Oh, Karma gonna go down to the Jin ultimate. Jin just doing so much damage. That's gonna go through the shield. And Jin is gonna pick up another kill with his fourth shot. And Oriana, she's gonna pick up a kill on Skarner. And Jin with a flash W, not gonna be able to hit the Oriana though. Riven gonna go in here. Gonna get a really nice knockup on the MF, but is gonna get ultied by the Skarner again. And uh, Riven is gonna die. Uh, Skarner does have ultimate, so they kind of have to be careful. Riven out of position, gonna get caught out by the Skarner there. Rest in peace again. That Skarner ult is just so annoying. Ooh, the clean wind slash on that MF. We'll look at Riven's build. Riven is going Revenous Hydra. Haven't seen that in a while. Ooh, a nice Q over the wall. Gonna be able to pick up a kill on the Caitlyn. Oh, but the Jin just bursts the Riven down. Riven with 150 CS compared to Fiora's almost 300 CS. Uh, almost double Riven's CS, which is kind of insane. Um... Looks like a blue team is going to be able to get the Baron there. And uh, we're going to see if blue team can possibly use their Baron. They did get an inhibitor earlier. That's going to be really nice. Fiora or Riven going to go in. Going to kill uh, the Skarner as real ultimate. Ouch, bursting them quite a bit. Doing so much damage. Getting them to like no health. Rest in peace, MF. Fiora gonna back here. We're gonna see if maybe the blue team can actually end it here. They do have super minions and they do have a Baron buff. This might be over. Ooh. Blue team really low on health here. Blue team gonna be forced to retreat here. Alright, blue team grouping mid lane and again with the open nexus. We're gonna see if blue team can possibly get a couple kills here and end the game. Uh, the red team doesn't really have any nexus turrets, so... Yeah. Riven might be going for the end here. Gonna get killed by the Skarner though. Fiora. It looks like... <laughs> Looks like Karma's the only one left. Dang, their team got aced. That's going to be really, really bad for a blue team. That might have actually thrown the game. We're just going to have to see. So a lot of people are actually messaging me right now. Saying that this Fiora is an actual uh, ex-pro uh, jungler main. Um, I'm not sure for which team, but an ex-pro. Oh, Riven going to get grabbed again by the Skarner. This Skarner does not like Riven whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty insane. Fiora is an ex-pro uh, bronze player leaning against a challenger ex-pro. Kind of funny. Uh, the bronze player did pick up you know, a couple kills, but <clears throat> he does not have as anywhere near as much farm as Fiora. 333 compared to 173. And Riven does have 12 deaths, quite a bit. Most deaths in the game right now. But early game, the Riven did play very, very well. Alright, Riven is up now. She's gonna hop on the MF, maybe pick up a quick kill. Oh, not gonna go for the kill, gonna walk away there. Graves gonna pick up the kill though. Uh, Caitlyn, dying to the Graves. Graves just doing so much damage. Skarner and Fiora just grouping together, sticking together as a team. Jin is still alive, and Jin does quite a bit of damage. 
Uh, Jin does have 17 kills and 2 deaths. Really, really strong. And I think this might be game here. And I think that is going to be GG. Riven able to do well early game, but late game, not so much. Uh, GG. Yeah, I'm going to go talk with the bronze player. See if he has any uh, anything to say. Yo, what's up? Yo, how, what, what do you think about that game, man? Uh, it was fun. I had fun playing that game. Dude, dude it was just kind of kind of so hard. well early. Yeah, dude, you I, were like two and zero. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that, that, did you know that challenge? The the Fiora was challenging. Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you like you? I think you almost won lane against a challenger. I thought I did early, like really early. Yeah, early, but like. And then I killed the <laughs> the Skarner after he ganked. Oh yeah, dude, that dude that actually blew me away. I didn't I didn't expect that actually. Like, like in my mind, it kind of came down to late game outscaling. They outscaled us, and plus we just didn't play team fights very well. Oh yeah, especially like that ace really like messed you guys. Yeah, the ace lost us that game pretty much. They had an yeah, open yeah. nexus. Yeah. Uh, what, did you like experience anything in the chat or? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what happened, dude? One of them told me to uh, cut my hands. Was it, was it? And then the other... Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna the, guess. The it was the karma. Yeah, it was the karma. She was like, cut your hands. <laughs> Not even just cut my hands off, just cut your hands. But was, was it just the karma, dude? Nah, Oriana was like, uh, all calves, do you even have a brain? <laughs> but I don't know why she was talking. She missed like so many good ult opportunities. Yeah, I saw. But th I think that was a overall good game. Um, I mean, for you being bronze, of course, th that's actually like that's very good. Uh, 1.4 million mastery points. <coughs> I didn't get to truly shine that game, sadly. Yeah, but it was nice having you, Kegel. Um, I'm probably gonna use you for your future videos, man. You are a pretty good Riven man. Uh, we're gonna get like thanks, dude. We'll get like a challenger Riven man, or we're gonna get like a challenger support main to try to one v one you or something like that. I don't know. That'd be fun. Like that could be actually pretty like, fun. You're a pretty good, uh, Riven, from what I've seen. Like, I I, I don't play Riven very well, so I like just watching you. Thanks, like, man. Inspire me to play Riven. Go zero. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was a good game, man. Uh. Any last uh, words? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, dude. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do enjoy what I do, you do like my content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you did like the video, make sure to leave a like. It honestly helps me out a lot. Love you guys. Thank you all for the support. If you do want to be in one of my future videos, join my Discord, guys. Love you guys. See you guys later.